Hey guys, and welcome back to Fatal Frame. Now, when we last left off, we had to go to the uh, old tree because something is going on in there. Um, Alright, come on, we don't have all day. Um, something's going on in the old tree. Apparently, there's a little escape route that we can use to get out of this village. So, yeah, let's go do that. Um, interestingly enough, we did try to go um, to the old tree the way um, via the way that we came into the village to start off with, but we were told we couldn't come in there because there was bad people doing a ceremony at the top. So we weren't allowed to go bust that ceremony down. However, we did discover that there is another way up here, which is kind of cool. Uh, at least I hope this is what we need to be doing. I mean, I guess it is. Kind of makes sense. And I've got drift on my controller. Yep, I'm not actually pushing up at the moment. So. Unplug the controller, plug it back in. Uh, it generally solves it. Yep, that only happens sometimes. Like, uh, bit funny, but it's all good. Oh right, yes. So we had to go back up to the old. Oh shit! Did I really just use fucking Type ninety film for that? Yes, I did. Well, that was only one shot, so. Okay. Now, let's go back. And I just did it again, didn't I? Uh, let's switch up to the crap film. There we go. Right, crap film is loaded. Yeah, sorry, uh made but we've got to go back up this uh, epic staircase apparently to go and have a little fiddle around so this is apparently I guess when we're actually supposed to get here so we've already been in here before right, let's keep that camera tight Oh, there we go. So what's going to happen here then? Something can be seen in the photo. It's twins going under a fence. Twins going under a fence. Huh. Twins going under a fence. So like... Where's that? Is that here somewhere? Uh, I don't think that's here. Uh, right. Twins going under a fence. Where could that be? And do we even have to... So we can't do anything with that. Let's have a look, see if it actually says anything on the photos. It's not the photos, it's the file. Uh, escaping twins. It shows twins escaping under a broken fence. That's fine. Oh, right. I'm being stupid. That's up here, isn't it? Yeah, we actually went through this before. And we found an item. Uh, I think it was like a sacred water or something. But this time there's nothing or no one there. Hmm. Um Alright, well, I guess that's all there is to do in here. Sorry I wasted your time. Meow. Nope, we're meow. Twin two is uh my you. So I guess we're gonna go all the way back down. Um Alright. Kind of a bit annoying that we had to go all the way back up there just to 
check out uh, and take a photo of the shrine just to go all the way back. But hey, that's fine. It's basically just like using a key, right? And we played in that. Oh, hello. Uh, how about no? Hey, sir. I don't like these guys. Let's use a Type 61. Come on. I mean, it doesn't really seem to do a whole lot more damage, does it? Not really. That does. Wow. Yeah, that does. That does an incredible amount of damage. Yeah, this dude is tough. This dude is mentally tough. We're just going to have to keep going. I mean, we could wait for a fatal frame, I suppose, but... It's not really going to help us too much, I don't think. Dude! There you go. Wow, look at that, like 3,000 points a shot. That's actually mental. Oh! Uh, dude. Where the hell have you gone? Out of the way. Oh, she's so... In uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, that's fine. Shoot her. Okay, we've lost our friend. There he is. Hello. Let's get that fatal shot. Which really didn't work very well for us, did it? Okay, so he's not too bad. Except your son. Where is he? Here, apparently. There he is. He just likes to disappear into nothing after a while. Got ya. Like, even basic shots with the crappy film seem to hurt this guy. Just a little bit. Where are you now? Ah, he's behind you. My, you really are pissing me off now. All she does is get in the bloody way. Ooh, ooh, could have got a good shot there. There we go. Yeah, she kind of needs to kindly disappear. Right, he's done. But he's used most, if not all of our, yeah, pretty much all of our somewhat adequate film. Um, right. So, nice. So we can fully power up our zero shot. This is excellent. Very happy with that. Alright, let's get out of here. See if we're going to come across any more of these beasties. Have we gone too far? Yeah, we've gone too far. Yeah, he's really starting to take a lot of damage. Trouble is, when you've got your sister uh, in a really tight space, she just gets in the way. Could have had a little bit more, uh, a little bit more AI logic. That's one thing they kind of nailed Resident Evil 4. Um, Ashley, she really never gets in your way. Because uh, if you're aiming at her or whatever, she will duck, which is quite nice. But not only does she get in your way, she actively stops you from moving forwards. She is a roadblock. Ah, uh, this is bad. Um, are you? That doesn't seem good. To be honest. Fallen Mayu. Oof.
Tsuki, eh? Ah, uh, there are four other places around. Right, right, getcha. So we need four of those. Some kind of lights twinkling underneath the sh Ooh. An octagon design is carved on... I think I know where that was. Was that the double twin room thing? Um, something can be seen in the photo of the shrine. Maybe it's part for the miss... Um, maybe it's a missing part for the mechanical dolls. Uh, maybe? I mean, personally, I didn't see anything. Um, right, well. Is there anything else here? There are countless tiny gravestones lined up. Maybe they've children. Yeah, maybe. I'm guessing these are all the uh sacrif ooh, the sacrificed kids. Twins play an important part in the ritual. In recent years, the government issued a decree that the first twin to come out is the eldest. Each region used to have its own rules until that decree was made. I mean, that makes sense. The first one out is the oldest because they've been out for longest, even if it's, you know, only a few minutes or whatever. Um, or a few hours, you know. Um, when I asked the ceremony master about the village's rules, he grinned and said that tradition is tradition. This village shall practice the old way. The twin that is born second is considered the elder. That doesn't even, like, that makes no sense. That literally makes no sense whatsoever. Like, if you put two fucking Christmas hams in the uh, oven and you pull one out first and then the other one out a few minutes later, the first one is the one that's been sitting there the longest. Okay. But fine. That's cool. Um, right, so I'm guessing one of, ooh. Well, that doesn't look good now, does it? Smile for the camera. Something can be seen in the... Okay. It's a woman crying in front of a building that looks like a storehouse. So I guess we've got to go back to the storehouse whilst our sister has a little bit of a rest. A little bit tuckered out. Um, Looks as if you can get out here. So, ah, this is the original area. This is like all the bloody way back. Is it worth getting out here? I mean, potentially, this should lead us pretty much to where we want to be. And at the same time, we might get into some glorious combat, which is always nice. We like glorious combat. Let's see if anything appears before us. Oh, hello. I mean, that appeared before us. So, you know, we've already profited from coming this way. I do like having lots of items. Especially as with this game, sometimes you can, um, you know, be doing pretty bloody well. And then all of a sudden you'll come up against a um, ghost that's a bit of a super penis. And he'll just you know, do shit tons of damage to you. You'll have to use two or three healing items. Right. So, I think we're going to drop a save here, just because I think we've done a decent amount of progress. Okay. Anything going to jump out? Seriously? This is like a golden opportunity for these bastards. But nothing. Alright. Oh, hello. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, dude, we really did need that. How much have we got? Oh, it's only 17, so we didn't get 15. Uh, and I've just noticed it tells us underneath this bit here. 
uh, how many points we actually have and how many spirit orbs we have which is actually really nice nice we've got some bloody uh, film which is great could really use some more of it to be fair but you know I'll take that 15 shots of film is better than none right let's keep going to the storehouse see if we can find that Ooh, oh, okay the storehouse looks like it's still sealed up but whatever I'm sure all will become clear shortly do we have yeah we've got type 7 loaded that's fine so ah you can actually go into the storehouse wasn't expecting that Damn. So he hung himself, I guess. Jeez. If I can save you, I'm sure my brother will forgive you? Zero film. Very nice. Alright. There's a little bit more going on. Ooh, there's a little bit more going on in the storehouse than I thought. I mean, what could possibly be go wrong here? Alright, well this place is quite fancy. Will Mizuki ever be able to forgive me? I could not make him into a butterfly. I could not become one with him. It's all my fault. Please forgive me. We got a crystal ore. Okay. So, I'm not quite sure what's going on with him. And did he have a twin brother? And it just it didn't go very well. Sometimes, my friend, people just can't be saved. Ooh. I heard uh, uh, Moon Attacker is here. I wonder if it's because of the letter I sent him. The warm welcome he's getting can only mean that they're going to use him as a kasabi in the inner ceremony. Yeah, so the kasabi, that's the outsider. I cannot let him get caught up in this. I must tell him to get out of here quickly. The three other pinwheel keys are hidden in the Kir uh, Kiru, Osaka and Tachibana houses. Nobody will expect me to run after the ritual. At that time it should be easy to take the keys. Helping the Ironsai escape may well be the last task I ever perform. Not sure why sometimes you just get two diaries. Could they not have just made the diary bigger? Instead of just having one? I don't know. It's a little bit odd. So, what are we looking for here? Ah! All God's Village map. Right. So I'm guessing that's... Is this gonna... It's a shame we can't zoom out. 
So we've got the All Gods Village map, but there doesn't appear to be an awful lot of much on there, unless we actually have to examine it. Yeah. Okay. A map of the entire village, it's marked in three places. So... Okay. So we got the ritual site. Alright, so there's a few little areas we can examine. So that's next on the old docket, I guess. A rotten table is on the floor. Well, looks like it. Let's get out of here. Check out upstairs first. Oh. Oh, what? We can't. Oh, that's disappointing. The air in the lightless attic is stale. Everything's covered with dust. Doesn't look like anybody's come here in a long time. Ah, oh, don't have stairs going up if we can't explore game. Come on. Can we really not explore up here? Really? Oh, that's anus. Alright, well, whatever. That's alright. Hmm. So, I wonder if there's anything around here, this other side. So, I'm guessing we've got... Ooh. Oh, ghosts. Hello. We've got a selection of ghosts. Cool. You guys are just XP in my pocket, to be honest. And you should be used as such. There's no point wasting the good stuff on these guys. Brilliant. Now we should be able to hit him with a super attack. I say super attack. You know what I mean. Yeah, that does a fairly good amount of damage. Uh, I am wondering though, if the damage potential for it is dependent on the type of film that you're using. Even though it doesn't technically use any film. It still seems to, um, you know, do less damage if we've got a uh, weaker film loaded. However, it could also just be that the enemies are getting stronger, but I don't know. I don't buy that. Because these standard, like, basic village enemies seem to be standard basic village en enemies. They don't really appear to get any tougher. But what we do know is this Type 7 film is kind of worthless. In fact, I would say it's literally worthless. And we'd probably have more fun and an easier time spitting at these guys. Right, he's done. Nice of this chap over here to patiently wait for us. I can appreciate that. Is it just two of them? It's unusual. Usually there's three of these village types. Come on. Let's be having your experience. <sighs> it's going to take a while. Oh, damn it. That was me just waiting for a zero shot that just, I guess, was never going to arrive. That was unfortunate. Not really happy with taking that damage, but that was my fault. With these guys, you've just got to be cautious. If you get injured by these guys, it really is kind of on you. To be fair. 
Yeah, that really is starting to do a good chunk of damage now. It probably does about the same sort of damage as a um, Type 14, a decent Type 14 shot. Which is not insignificant. Just going to wear this guy's ass down. Thing is, I don't know if there's any more power-ups for the camera to get yet. Um, which does make me wonder, is there any point in still grinding? Because, to be fair, I think we have the best ability, or at least the most worthwhile ability anyway. Right, so there doesn't appear to be anything else out here. God damn it! Been nice to get some Type 14. Literally starving hungry for Type 14. But it is what it is, I guess. So, we've got some options. We've got some different uh, places to explore. I think we're going to go up to the ritual site. Because I'm reckoning... Uh, has it actually marked that on our map yet? It hasn't. That's, oh no. <laughs> no. It's the actual cemetery, I think, that's highlighted on the map. So let's go to the cemetery. And then we can cut through the... Um, oh, actually, we need some health too. We really need some health. We can cut through the um, tree. Much better. Yeah, only being able to hold 99 of each film is kind of savage. Because 99 shots of film in this game really isn't a lot. But, you know, we make do. We make do. To be fair, I'd imagine. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Hello, stumbling Joe Fishin. That was not fantastic. Might have to use some better film here. Oh my god, it's going to be painful. Ah, if I wasn't such a sucker for wanting upgrade points. I suppose every two shots we can do a special attack. Which isn't bad, I guess. Yeah, it is roughly two shots. It'd be nice actually if we perform when we perform those specials, if we uh, got some charge in our meter. Uh, maybe every three attacks. Still not bad, I suppose. I prefer the way the specials are handled in this one because um, in the first game, having those specials set as a usable resource, a finite resource. Um, you never really wanted to use them because you never knew how many of those orbs you were going to get. So, ended up having quite a few of those by the end of the game, I think. Or did I use them all? I can't remember. Well, he's gone. Now, what do we have left? See, this is the thing. I don't know if we're going to get any better powers later on, so I don't know whether it's worth upgrading anything here. Because uh, slow... I mean, slow actually seems like a pretty useful power, to be honest. That's questionable. Like, I don't know. I mean, I get where they're going with that power and on paper it actually sounds like it's probably quite useful to actually highlight the ghost so they can't go invisible but in actual reality I'm not sure that that's going to be too useful now stun stun is basically a, just an enhanced version of slow uh, just, yeah I don't know man yeah I think we're going to save our points for now anywho guys I'm going to save it here. We're literally at the end of the episode. So when we come back, we're going to go explore those uh, mysterious spots we have on our map. 
So thanks for watching, and as always, till next time.